Okay, the purpose of this video is to finish up looking at the uh, DC motor response with initial conditions. In the last video, uh, we basically got to the point where we had this uh, expression for the response, which is omega t is given by this expression. So the last thing that we need to do is uh, check this by graphing it to make sure that it actually shows something reasonable in terms of the uh, output. So we'll go ahead and graph this using MATLAB. So I'll make MATLAB come to the front. And uh, the first thing we'll do is define a time vector. We'll then define omega. I'll cheat and call it w. So it's minus 19.044 times e to the minus 64.4944 times e to the minus t times 1.1399. 1 okay. So now we plot this, and we get something that looks like this. And uh, basically what this shows us is as the voltage uh, goes to zero, then um, the motor starts at a uh, at its initial speed of a little over 45 uh, radians per second, and the motor speed drops until it gets close to zero. That seems pretty reasonable. It takes the motor about um, what uh, uh, about two seconds to slow down to where it's pretty close to, to stopped. So basically then this concludes the uh, video on the DC motor with the initial conditions. And uh, we'll have one last set of videos. Well, actually we'll just conclude at this point. There may be one last set of videos on uh, how the motor responds to uh, a uh, input signal, but we'll stop this guy at this point.